the ministry of laying on of hands and anointing with oil to pray for the sick is scriptural and commanded by God. The prospects for healing are not based on who you are or what you've done to make you worthy of such a gift, but who God is and what He has done to make this available to you. Matthew 8:17 reads, He Himself took our infirmities and carried away our diseases. Notice the past tense. He has already done this. Now it's up to us to believe what He said He has accomplished for us. Numbers 23:19 reads, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, shall he not make it good? Jesus accomplished our healing, 1 Peter 2:24, when it reads, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins should live under righteousness by whose stripes we were healed. Notice the past tense again. Ye were healed. The laying on of hands is the ministry of impartation and agreement. As we lay hands on those who are sick, we are imparting the healing virtue of God as vessels of God by the Spirit. The anointing with oil is an act of faith and obedience on the part of the one praying and represents the unction or the anointing of the Holy Spirit and is also a point of contact. Matthew 15 refers to healing as the children's bread. I remember some words to an old song, I'm sure you've heard it, that says, Jesus has a table spread where the saints of God are fed. He invites His chosen people to come and dine. You know, God is not selfish. That table is already spread for whosoever will and is filled with heavenly provisions. Psalms 23, 5 says, Thou hast prepared a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. All the heavenly things on this earthly table are yours. And God is anxiously waiting for you to take them. 1 Corinthians 2.19 says, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither has even entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared. Remember the table provision? <laughs> the things God hath prepared for them that love Him. You know what? The very basic things on this table are bread and water. And remember, healing is the children's bread. James 5.13 says, Is there any among you afflicted? Let him pray. In other words, you can pray. You can pray the prayer of faith over yourself and receive your healing. Or you can do what verse 13 14 says, and it says, Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. Or you can be like the centurion in Matthew 8 when he said, Lord, I don't deserve to have you come under my roof. But if you will just say the word, my servant will be healed. Let me do what the centurion asked of Jesus and let me pray over you right now. Heavenly Father, I lift up your child right now. I just want you to just lift your hands right now if you need a touch in your body. 
I lift up your child right now in the name of Jesus. And I lay them at your mercy seat, Lord, at your throne of grace. And in the name of Jesus, I speak healing over them and I command the spirit of infirmity to leave right now. You foul devil, you have no place or dwelling in God's temple. Leave them alone. Now just worship the Lord as He fills you with His Spirit. Just worship Him right now. Thank you, Lord, for your healing. Thank you, Lord, for letting us touch the hem of your garment, Lord. Thank you for the virtue that flows out of you right now, Lord. We worship You. We worship You. We adore You, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we praise You, Lord. Amen. God bless you today. Get up and tell someone what God has done for you. Okay? Have a blessed day. Amen.